lobby skeletons relative to the other level summons are pretty useless, but yeah, these these 75 summons. Oh, charred remain. Oh, fingers of the mountain. I bet when we pick that up, something's gonna happen. She's gonna appear and be like, "You there? Give me the book." I found the book. Deliver it to either Irana at the Grey Mare Tavern in Coral, or to Tikius at the Coral uh, Mages Guild. Everyone says that Irana's bad. I don't have evidence of that, but since she won't talk to me, I should probably assume that she's kind of a dick. The most surprising thing about Oblivion is how not ugly it is, despite its age. You know what? Let me ask Hello. her. Well, if it isn't my little helper, have you retrieved that book for me yet? I'm going to give her the book and then see what happens and then reload because I want to see the outcome of this. It just seems it seems so strong arm that she's a baddie that I'm kind of like, is she though? But she might be. Here's the book. Oh, wonderful. I'll just take this from you and get to work translating it. I'll need some time with this. Come and find me tomorrow. I'll be at the Grey Mare until I've finished my work. But please don't disturb me until I'm done. She's gonna run. This is quite a delicate business, you see. She's gonna make a run for it. Hello, my little friend. I have something that might interest you. I've committed most of the book to memory, but I took the time to write down a passage you might find. Can useful. I control the weather? It contains instructions for acquiring a very special power. You'll want to read it carefully and then return to Cloud Top. I consider this to be more than a worthy reward for your help. I believe you'll agree, assuming you're careful. What does that mean? My dear helper, most of the text you've given me is well beyond your comprehension, I'm afraid. I found one section that's been uh, appended by the Keepers of the Imperial Watch. Their notes will be of use to you. Return to the ruins of Cloud Top. A uh, section of pillar looks remarkably unlike any other stonework present. The carvings are made by the Aelids, and the pillar has been infused with significant power. The following was scribbled in the margins of the book, presumably by the same... Oops! Uh, same men who took the pillar from its original resting place. I'm trying to paraphrase this. Do note this sounds rather dangerous, and take whatever precautions you feel are necessary. Uh-oh. Only works outdoors, reacts strangely to ma uh, strongly to magic. Terrible power capable of striking a man dead on the spot. This is going to kill you. Transport the stone to a secure location to study it more fully. Guild Wizards brought in a focused power of stone. Several severely injured. Uh, Welkin stone necessary to harness the power. Oh, I have some of those from a dungeon. Success means power of shock unattainable through other means. Our Imperial friends are attempting to harness some degree of the alien's magical power. Procure a stone for yourself, searching the ruins, quickest methods, and return to Cloudtop to cast a shock spell at the pillar. What happens then, I think you can comprehend on your own. A little tickle. Right. I'm going to assume that, that means you must have a Welkin stone on you, otherwise you're fucked. Oh, you know what? I want, I want to see this battle. Clan fear versus mountain lion. Because mountain lions are tough. They're fucking tough as nails. What's he doing? Dude, attack him. <laughs> what are you doing? There we go. He's just like staring at him. Now, obviously, he's a mage, so I think that makes him not want to attack. It makes him just want to, like, I guess, be at the back and cast. I don't know. I don't know, man. See, I spend a whole mana bar on that shit. It doesn't really do a whole lot. I mean, he killed him, but... I, I don't know, man. I'm here now. Whoa! Oh, they look cool! Look how cool that looks! Holy fuck! Oh, is he, is he getting fucked? 
Don't tell me you're gonna kill by a little zombie. Don't tell me you're gonna lose to a. Don't you dare. Dude, the zombie's gonna kill my fucking astronaut. Oh, he fucked him up. Man, he fucked him up. And they also have, like, uh, nukes. We're basically doing Pokemon battles, but I don't know how Oblivion. <laughs> he just bitch slapped that skeleton. That was, that was disrespectful, but I'll take it because he's not he's my enemy. <laughs> Look at the physics of those, like uh oh that's terrifying. It looks like a some sort of mosquito creature in the background. And that's like a possessed. It looks like the, the, they caught an enemy and they're like trying to like wrestle it. Very scary. Alright, let's try a Daedra. Oh, that is a big boy. Holy fuck. That is a, that is a big boy. Okay, he's, he's fighting two of them. So I'm not going to judge him too harshly if he gets wrecked. I'm not going to judge him too harshly. It's a 2v1. He fucked him. Oh, he fucked him. And I don't think he died. I think he, he ran out of time. I don't think he got killed by the archer. He fucked up that zombie, dude. Oh, he fucked up the skelly, too. That is a big old boy. That's not combat. I hit him once. Oh, my God. There's a mud crab. Dude, that scared the shit out of me. There's like a, there's a mud crab assassin stealthing in the water. Help me, Daedroth. Oh, there's loads of them. Dude, do something. Oh, mate. You're fucked by mud crabs. I know what this does. So this is the first time we've uh, we've done this. I've got the Welkin crystal, so this should work. Do I just... Oh! I was struck by lightning and have been granted a powerful new... The fuck? Oh, is that it? Oh, that's okay. Okay, I thought... I thought it was going like, to one-shot me just something crazy. It just tickles you a little bit. I barely moved my health bar. What? Finger of the Mountain, 90 shock damage in a 5 foot around the target, 786 magicka to cast. How the hell am I supposed to get that kind of magicka? What? How much do I have? I've got 200, man. I can't cast that. <laughs> I don't know if this game has... You know how in Skyrim... Everyone runs around with like minus 90% mana costs or or like max, you know, all the, all the spells are free. Unless Oblivion has the same system. I have no idea how I... How the hell you want me to cast that? It's not even that much. It's like 90 damage. It's not even like crazy. Kind of sucks, dude. Right, I'm going to reload. Because that is not worth it. That wasn't even worth getting a crystal for. What a waste of time. All right, we're going to go hand this into the Mage Guild. Here's a book. You found the book. My trust in you was well placed, it seems. Hand it over, if you please. I don't have it. Can <laughs> you just troll him? Here's the book. Ah, yes. This is indeed the correct book. You've not been able to open it, I presume. Then all is well. You have shown yourself worthy of the guild, and for that I thank you. You shall have the recommendation you need. One step closer to the Mage Guild. Now, I must ensure this book is kept safe. Excuse me. So if you give the book to her, Hello. you don't get your recommendation. So how... How do, you, how do you enter the university? There must be a way of getting their forgiveness. Maybe you gotta give them money. You have to, like, bribe them. Let's go over here. Right, Skingrad, right? So, every major town should have a mage guild. I don't know if Skingrad is considered a uh, major town. We'll find out. This music's really nice. Oh, this is just like a farm town. There is a castle. There's a proper town there. It's not like in the middle of buttfuck nowhere. Stables. Hey, man. 
Hello. Hello. What's up, dude? What do you need? Just uh, checking the place out. Directions. What are you looking for? Tell me the landmarks. What's what's a good tourist attraction? The castle is on a hill outside the walls, south of town. Shops and guilds are mostly inside the north walls, while the chapel, homes, and one inn are inside the south walls. One inn specifically? That's weird. Over here. I don't... We can't talk here. Too public. Meet me behind the great chapel at midnight. Don't let anyone follow you. I'll make it worth your while. Look, ma'am. I am not in the mood for a booty call. Alright? I am hot and sweaty and tired. I don't have the time for your backstreet dogging. Alright? I don't have time for that shit. What a pervert. I don't appreciate that at all. Didn't even, uh, didn't even ask about me or how my day was going. Oh, it's here. This is the Mage Guild. Oh. You've got a blue robe, so I assume you're a big deal. What? Who are you? Ah, who cares? <laughs> I'm Druya. You want something? Or are you just practicing your Cyrodiilic? That's quite rude. What the hell? You seem like a bit of a dick. Tell me about Glath there. I don't mean to gossip, but he is more than a bit strange. However, he's always been tolerated as the town eccentric. I like strange, though. Tell me about the guild. Adriana may read too much, but you should see the summon spell she taught Viga. He might teach you if you're skilled enough. I am a conjurer. Oh, unique summon spell. What about some rumors? Give me some gossip. The Coral Guild Hall had an unpleasant visit recently from someone who had a grudge against Tikius. No shit. I just, I just, I just did that quest. Temet Skingrad. It's a town like any other. <clears throat> Well, go outside, and there's the mountains and wines and sheep. Here in town, though, nothing special. I respect your honesty. Right, I'm looking for a recommendation so I can get into the uni. Oh, no, that's Adriana's job, oh. not mine. If you ask about it, don't be surprised if she's annoyed. She doesn't like being interrupted. Oh, she sounds like a dick, too. Why is everyone here a dick? Good day. I just want access to spellcrafting, man. I mean, he really likes cheese. Who doesn't? Well, some I people like don't like cheese. cheese. I don't trust people. Not more than cheese. Unless you're like lactose intolerant. Not I don't sure trust people that don't like cheese. I think... So I've heard. I'm not saying they're Good serial day. killers. Be seen. But all I'm saying is something... Something ain't quite right. Like, they're, they're hiding something. Some, like, dark secret. That's all I'm gonna say. Hello, associate. Hey, Adrian. I trust you have a good reason for interrupting me. Oh, you're a dick. Tell me about the uni. It's been the home of the Mages Guild for the longest time. <clears throat> you should see the library they have there. It's the only place worth visiting in the Imperial City, if you ask me. I only make the trip if I can't find a specific book here. I would love to go in the uni. In fact, the only reason I'm here is to get your stupid recommendations so that I can maybe one day get inside there. It's the only reason I'm here. It's such a process. I can't believe you can't do any spellcrafting or enchanting until you do this entire questline. That's... that's crazy. Tell me about the guild. There's at least one person in every guild hall who offers spells. <clears throat> Check at every hall to make sure you don't miss any. Like rumours. I don't know what Archmage Traven has against necromancy, but the first thing he did after taking over the Mages Guild was to ban its practice. I hate to say it, but I agree with her. I don't get it either. Skin grad. What? You want a tour? Can't you see I have a lot on my mind? <laughs> Go bother a beggar or guard. They stand around and chatter all day. She's such a knob. I have to get a recommendation from this person. I'm afraid I haven't given it much thought. <clears throat> I'm rather busy, you understand. My research occupies nearly all of my time. Now that I think about it, I do have a small problem concerning Earthor. He's one of the guild mages here. Think you can do something about it? If I get a recommendation, yeah. Excellent. <clears throat> I just don't have the time to search for him again, but I do need to consult him about some notes he I borrowed. bet he's in that dungeon that was locked. You might want to ask around and see if anyone can be of some help. Let me know when he's back, and you'll have your recommendation. When NPCs don't return, that always means they're dead. We're gonna find his body somewhere. 
Athel? He's... well, he's an interesting fellow. Salinus Vicinus can tell you more about him if you wish to know. I love these names. Salinus should be around here somewhere. Talk to him if you'd like to know more about Earthor. Salinus Vilinus? That sounds like a rock star name. I haven't seen him in quite some time, but then this isn't the first time he's been away, so I wasn't really that concerned. He's definitely dead. We're going to find his body in the cave. Uh, probably being manhandled by trolls. It's just northwest of Skingrad. Here, see it on the map? That's where Urthor wound up after Adrian told him he couldn't practice in the guild hall anymore. She probably doesn't even remember that. He's a necro. You might want to make sure she remembers, especially the part about it being her idea. He's a necro. Oh, so she said you can't practice here anymore because of the new archmage, but you can go to the cave. He probably got killed by skeletons. Good he luck got eaten by zombies because they probably turned on him. Oh, I do remember telling him to go there. Mm. Well, we'll just have to do something about that, won't we? By we, I mean you, of course. I have something that may help. It's a basic fireball spell, in case you need to defend yourself. I mean... I'll be here when you get back. Good luck. Can I get a key? There he is. Dude, he's, he's fucking creepy. I trust him. Ah, you came. You're sure you weren't followed? Good. I thought I could trust you. Nobody else in town. They're all in on it. All watching me. Well, yes. I need you to do something for me. I'll pay you gold. You like gold, this don't you? creepy. Lots of gold. He also looks like Vegeta. <laughs> Here's my problem. I'm being followed. Watched. Marukotti selectives, maybe. He's got the Vegeta Not hair. Not sure. I'm a threat, you see, to their plans. I know too much. Dude, he's crazy. I need you to check out some people for me. The ones who are following me. Watch them. See where they go. Who they report to. Will you help me? I feel like if I say no... He's going to go Super Saiyan and fist my ass. <laughs> I just, he's so creepy. I don't trust him. I'm going to grudgingly agree to help him. Very good. You won't be sorry. I'll pay you well. Did I say that already? I, I don't. Let's start with Bernadette Penniless. Be outside my house at 6 a.m. You'll see her watching me. See where she goes and who she reports to. <laughs> we'll meet here... Again, tomorrow night. Oh, and never contact me in public. They're watching. They can't know you're helping me. <laughs> is this, um, is this, this is tinfoil hat. Tell me about Bernadette. Her house is almost directly across the street from mine, southwest of the Great Chapel. Coincidence? I don't think so. <laughs> How dare someone lives on the other side of the street to you? That's, that is suspicious. Because obviously they changed houses just to spy on him. To, to watch him get undressed or something. Tell me skin grads. There's so much I could tell you. So many secrets. <laughs> but then you'd be in danger too. It's best if we're not seen talking. He's crazy. He's crazy. I love him. All right, man. Remember. Bernadette Penniless, 6 a.m. Don't let her see you watching. Huh. Back off. Ha, ha, ha. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Quest completed. Paranoia. I have killed Glathir. There you go. Problem solved. <laughs> uh, now I want to see what happens. A little bird told me that you've been asking around town about Glarther, a resident eccentric. Oh. I'd like to know why. Dude, this guy just... Maybe he's onto something. This guy interrupted my 24 hours standing there doing nothing. Just curious. Fine. Play it that way. Let me give you some friendly advice. Glarther is crazy. Maybe harmless crazy. Maybe not. Dude, the conspiracy theorist is right. Don't get involved with him. <laughs> if he asks you to do anything strange, you come see me first. Got it? Or any of the town guard. Let us handle it. No. Dude, he's... he's he, 
they are spying on him. What the hell? They're spying on Vegeta. No one spies on him except me. I'm Bernadette Penelis. I work for Tamika. I grow grapes for her wines. Skin grad. I've lived here all my life. Grown grapes. It's all I know. Fresh air, mountains, the grapes on the vine. It's just beautiful. Rumors? I've bought a good number of things at Colovian Traders. And Gunder is a friendly sort. Can I ask her about him? I don't trust you enough to talk about that. All right. Oh. Okay, hold on. Can we can we smooth talk this? So I've never had speech actually be yeah. useful in this. Oh, I see. Oh, shit. Well, I know he's a bit odd, oh, but I've cool. always thought he was kind of sweet. Lately, though, he has been stranger than That's usual. That's the first time we've got information I think maybe speech. he's been following me. I see him every morning on my way to chapel. I've tried to say hello, but he always pretends not to hear me. She got a crush on him. What if it? What if it's just a love story? <laughs> That's the first time in Oblivion where um, disposition has given me actual like more information. That's cool. I love the Elder Scrolls series, but let's be honest, it's not the most detailed when it comes to uh, you know using speech to acquire information, like something like uh, like New Vegas or something. That ruins the quest, right? I told you not to speak to me in public. We'll meet tonight at the place we discussed. Ah, uh, uh, sorry. I have no idea what time it is. <laughs> so, you saw Bernadette Penelis, did you? She was watching me and following me, wasn't she? Uh... Nothing to report. You were right. She is following you. She wasn't watching or following you. Well... Here's the thing. She say, seems like she has a crush on the guy. Is that following, though? Because she, she, she's obviously, she obviously looking at him a lot and is very aware of his presence. But I wouldn't say she's like a stalker or anything. Nothing to report yet. Then why do you waste my time? Do as you agreed and meet me here tomorrow night. Dude, he's so fucking pissed. This guy needs to chill, dude. This guy's crazy. All right, hold on. Close enough. She's not following you. Really? That is surprising. I was sure she was watching me. Where's my reward? Ah, of course. The gold. Here. But there is someone else I need you to investigate. So I feel like that was probably the correct answer. Because she, she was like looking at him. And it sounds like she kind of likes him. But she wasn't like stalking or anything. So I guess like you'll probably go through a bunch of people that don't know him. And the last one's going to be some sort of, I don't know, assassin or something. That would be my guess. What else do you want me to do? Tutius Sextius. Do you know him? What? A quiet fellow. Appears harmless enough. But I've identified him as one of my key Tut suspects. Tutius Sextius. He's a clever one, no doubt about it. Eyes in the back of his head. Always seems to know when I'm watching. But that's where you come in. You should wait outside his house and see what he does when he's not watching me. I'll meet you here tomorrow night to get your report. Tutius Sexius. Come on, guys. Why are these why are the names in Oblivion so wacky? Get out of here. Tell me about Tutius. He lives in the large house between the low gate and the east bridge, alone. Suspicious, don't you think? Yeah, how dare people live alone? O only, a, only a deranged murderer would live alone. <laughs> this guy. But Bernadette. I still can hardly believe she wasn't watching me, but it is a relief to be able to finally stop worrying about her. I think she likes you, dude. I think... All right. You and Bernadette might have a future together if you stop being Don't let Tutius catch you following him. He's much more dangerous than he looks. Is he dangerous, though? Where's he going? This is really... Look how pretty this is. Whoa. Cool. I thought Skin Grab was some, like, shitty backwater place, but it's actually quite... It's actually quite a cool area. Dude, this guy just... 
well I'm gonna met. talk to him. Fuck Good it. Hey. You. I went to the. Ch You're new here. Or you'd know me. Tutius Sextius. My people have lived in Skingrad since the dawn. Father and the Count were best of friends. He's not going anywhere. He's just. I guess you'd have to just like harass them. So the quest makes it sound like you're supposed to follow them and stalk them, but it, it wants you to actually like interrogate them, which is really odd. Okay, well, he's not going to answer my question, but tell me about Glarther. I'm sorry, but I don't think I know any Glarther. Oh, wait, do you mean that strange wood elf that you see wandering around the city? Hey, he's not strange. Yes, I've seen him, but never spoken to him. He seems to be at the low gate every morning when I pass by on my way to the castle. Don't talk shit about Vegeta. Gives me the strangest looks now that you mention it. Almost like he hates me, although I have no idea why. Hmm. Rumors. Hammer and Tongs is a good place to get your armor repaired. Just don't go early in the morning. Agnet usually isn't feeling so well then. Skingrads. Perhaps you should seek out a priest. Perhaps a beggar or guardsman. You and I, we have nothing in common. Hey. What could we possibly talk about? What, because you're rich? Are you being classist? Right, that's it. That's it. We don't All right. We don't tolerate that kind of that kind of behavior here. You have the hands Hold on a second. Of a Hold on a second. Ah! God damn. Where's where's your manservant now? Get, Stop right there. Get out of the way. Fuck off. There you go. Murder! Murder? Oh my god, that's a lot of guards. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude. Look how many guards there are. Holy shit, there's like 50,000 guards. <laughs> I didn't realize he was that big of a deal. Damn, they, they really like their rich cunts around here, don't they? Tell me what you learned about Tutius Sextius. Damn, he's in a rush. He doesn't, he's not watching, he doesn't give a shit. Really? So you're saying that neither Bernadette Penelis or Tutius Sextius is part of the conspiracy against me? Hard to believe. Ah, dude. Where's my rewards? Yes, the gold that you value so highly. I wonder what price betrayal. Never mind that. Well, we shall see. I do have one more name for you. Now this one is definitely gonna be a bad guy. This is this is the one that shows you that he's not crazy, and at least one person is spying on him. What else do you want me to do? Do you know David Surly? David? Yes, of the famous Surly Vineyards, pillar of the community, etc. Who would ever suspect him? Perfect cover for the ringleader of the whole conspiracy. He watches my house constantly. You'll see. Dude. He leaves his house early each morning. Watch him and report back to me here at midnight as usual. Make sure he doesn't notice you. People dunking on Oblivion's voice actors. This guy is good. <laughs> he sounds like a real life crazy person. Tell me about David. The Surly house is right next door to mine. A large house with a backyard conveniently located to observe my every move. I think this guy's legit. Like, this guy is probably like a real, a real stalker. Tell me about uh, Tutius Sextius. I was sure he was part of the conspiracy. Sure of it. I guess it just goes to show. Well, we'll see what it goes to show, won't we? I guess he will. Be careful. David Sorelli is the ringleader. You must not let him catch you watching her. Commander, he's whispering. I mean, he is a conspiracy guy, so I guess whispering makes sense. I'm David of Sorelli Brothers Vineyard. Gaston is my brother. From our vineyards come the finest wines in Tamriel. You sound sus I know you're both brothers, but you sound suspiciously similar. Whatever you want. You see? Remarkable. Ooh! Persuasion, wheedling, cajoling, and coercing are all tools of speechcraft. They're tools you seek to excel in. You are now an apprentice of speechcraft. When persuading a character, you now get one chance to rotate the response wedges without having to select an action. Oh, that's... Whoa. That's really useful. I can, like, flip the minigame. Tell me more. 
you may have heard that he's a bit touched in the head, and that may be true, but he's always been a quiet neighbor, never given us any trouble. It's got no beef with him. So, what did you discover about the upstanding David Surly? He seems pretty chill, dude. He's just, he's just living his life. He's not spying on you. Just as I suspected, they've gotten to you too. Not one of them involved in the conspiracy, and you expect me to believe that? Now I know for sure that they are all in on it, and therefore they all have to die. What? Starting with you. He's good. Let's get this <laughs> over with. Are you joking? Mate, you do not want to fight me. Wait, are they attacking me? No, they're attacking him. Mate, you, you, you don't want to fight me. You don't want to fight me, dude. This is going to end so badly. I don't want to kill you, Vegeta. I had to kill Vegeta. Glanthir is dead. My attempts to convince him there was no conspiracy against him have ended in tragedy. Oh, no. Oh, I feel terrible. I mean, he attacked me. But, oh no. Oh shit. You have the eyes of a trained monster. Now's not the time, dude. Someone just died. Do you have no respect for life? <laughs> Says the guy that strips him naked and teabags him. 